Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick whist watch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now, Archie Luxury. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel, Paul Pluta Channel, and I'm going to do a new segment. This is viewer comments. Sometimes viewers, when they make a donation, they put a few comments there. So I thought I'd, I'd you know, I combine some of these into a, into an email, into a, sorry, a video, a video, a video. So uh, today, today I've got two in. We've got M20 and we've got JU7. M20 says, quick wristwatch check, I'm wearing my, actually I'm going to change watches, you know that, sometimes I'm in the middle of doing a whist, 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 wristwatch check, and I'd like to wear something else, what would I like to wear, what would I like to wear, um, I might put on my Zenith, I, I, I actually really love the Zenith, the Zenith El Primero, uh, I, I quite like that, it's a one column wheel chronograph, to another column wheel chronograph. Uh, there we go. It's it's already running because I was wearing this yesterday, and I love it. I love it. I love it. So we'll just put that back on. Put it on now. There we go. Rubber. I love a bit of rubber strap there. And this is for M20 Peter. He said, "You deserve this twenty pounds." He sent me. You deserve for the government rant. Long live private enterprise. Free diet advice, completely cut out any processed food for a few months, worked on me. Oh, and great watch advice. Just a shame I didn't follow it several years ago. So, Peter, thank you so much. Yes, I do plan on keeping my government rants going. i got to be honest with you, governments, um, they really pissed me off there. I, I was uh, sent to a star chamber. Star chamber, sent to a star chamber. And in Australia at the moment, free press, man, we've got the government, well, the um, the federal police, that's sort of like, it's like the CAA in Australia, okay? Because uh, because we mainly have state police. So federal is like the CIA. It's not like, it's not like the uh, CIA, because that's ACO. So, you know, we've got these different bureaucratic bodies and they're doing some raids on media. So I got to tell you, it's it's a it's a very very nasty, vicious world that we're in there. So um, I got to say, Peter, thank you so much for your twenty pounds. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful. That's a really cool donation. It helps. It helps a lot because I got to tell you, if I had to survive on YouTube, Google Ads money, I'd be. Got, I would have got a. Would have had to have got a job months and months ago okay i just cannot survive on the google ads you cannot you cannot so um i gotta say the 20 pounds you sent me that's very very nice now next one is ju7 this was from james and uh this was about the rat rat one rodent one and paddock he goes uh first archie i've learned a great deal about watch collecting uh spiced with your humor about watch Oh, I've learned a great deal about watches, collecting spice with your humor. I'm sending you 20 US dollars in appreciation for your work. Uh, I just came across a video from Long Island Watch who sling, uh, slings cheap shitter watches. He even mentioned Rodent, sent him customers. Uh, Long Island even texted the rat about his new job in Philadelphia. Apparently they're chums. Sewer must be full. Uh, I watched a bit of the rats video t to the Rocky theme. I couldn't bear it anymore as he appeared ready to orgasm all over himself. Uh, okay, now I, I gotta tell you, actually, the, the guy from Long Island watches, I gotta tell you the truth there. Um, look, I, I don't know him. I've never actually spoken to him, but I, I gotta tell you, I, I, don't, I, don't, I really don't dislike him, okay? He actually had a really good video. This is the guy from Long Island watches. <laughs> where he mentions what a bunch of assholes Amazon is, you know, dealing, being an Amazon seller. And he, uh, he actually, I'll put a link in the description for the Amazon, where's my pencil? I'll put a link in the description because he actually had the 
um, oh, this is the Amazon video. I thought it was quite good. He told you how difficult it is to be an Amazon seller and how fucking customers are so picky, 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 and Amazon just wipes you. If anything goes wrong, oh, they just tell you to get fucked. So I actually thought that was a pretty good view. I don't mind him. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't, I honestly don't <clears throat> mind him. I think he's okay. He's, he's, he's got a business, he's selling cheaper watches. Well, that's good, good, good luck to him. I, I don't have a problem. The rodent's a bit sleazy. Yeah, the rodent's a bit, I gotta be honest with you. The rodent does annoy me because he begged me for help and I kind of, I, I did a lot for him. I, I think in my opinion, I went out of my way to help him and he's never said thank you. Very, very sleazy, says, you know, he sucked up, he just sucks up to you like a toady. Then when you're no use to him, he just forgets you. He's just very, very mean like that, mean-spirited. Uh, secondly, don't be so hard on yourself about trading the steel Rolexes for the paddock. I read and I read and watch a good deal, and your decisions were correct. Rolex is starving its customers, and they are heading to Patek. Oh, I don't know if that's true. Sorry, this is so long. Just wanted to send some encouragement and acknowledge your great contribution to horology. A big fan, James Lowry, Detroit, USA. Thank, thank you, James. That's 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 really, really kind of you. That's 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 really kind of you um to do that um look i i think paddock itself look 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 i gotta be completely honest with you um i've just got my paddock i've just been fondling it james i've been fondling my my i love my patek philippe i love it i love my patek philippe it's very very cool um i couldn't be happier um i it had a little ding on the one of the lugs and the bezel was a little bit scratched i sent it into the experts at watch tech watch tech and they did a amazing job absolutely amazing job so um i i really can't be happier than what than what they they the watch how it presents now I I absolutely adore it I absolutely adore this watch so um yeah I'm 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 very happy with it um I got to tell you look look I think Paddock Paddock's got its own Ponzi scheme with the Nautilus and the Aquanaut I don't know whether it's Paddock's look I honestly I don't know whether it's Rolex who's playing this game. The problem is the Chinese, who were never buyers before, the Chinese were poor, impoverished. Um, they were reading Mao Zedong's um, little red book, which obviously didn't work. Um, and now they've, they, they've turned into the most materialistic, superficial fucks on earth. And they want Rolex and Paddock, Paddock Sports, Rolex Sports. Uh, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Um, I, I like the more traditional paddocks. I'm, I'm very happy I've, I own this, this paddock here. Uh, I, I, I adore it. I buy it for me, for me. And, uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy with it. I, I think it's, it's just, just stunning. I, I love it in the white. I really do. I really, I really do. Um, I love it in the white. So, hey. Thank you so much there. There's two very kind guys, Peter and James. I appreciate, I appreciate you um, sending me money like that. So guys, if you do send a donation to me, I'm now going to read out, you send a little bit of a comment, I'll read it out. I might amalgamate a few of them because they're a bit short just for a video on its own. But it helps me, it helps me. People who send donations like that, it really fucking helps, okay? I can tell you now. Um, you know, I'm on my kids, they only go to a state school. I, I can't afford private school, but I pay for a bit of extra tuition. The eldest one loves mathematics. Um, this is the, actually the third one. I should, the two eldest ones are adults, but you know, because I've got four boys. And four, four, obviously I didn't do the mathematics too well. Four boys. Anyhow, he, he, the 13 year old, he loves mathematics. So he goes to a 
a Sunday mass extra course, and that's about seven hundred dollars a term. So, you know, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard making a living out of YouTube. Hard. The Google, it's hard. It's very hard. It's very hard, especially me with the way I do things. See, I'm not really sponsored. Nobody gives me any kickback. I um, I just tell the truth, and sometimes it's not nice because I've I've criticised a lot of watches, and you're not going to get any sponsorship once you do that. And um, that's actually the rodent told me that. The rodent told me that when we were friends. He told me that, and I said, "Well, I can't change." And um, yeah, I I. I, I'm happy. I'm happy being true to myself. That's that's all that really matters. And um, I want to say thanks. That money helps a lot. It helps me a lot because life is tough. Life is tough. So guys, thank you. If you do send a donation, you can donation donate via PayPal. Archie Luxury seven two. That's my birth year. Archie Luxury seventy two because I was born in that year. At gmail.com. Send it by PayPal. Also, guys, Patreon. Click on the link in the description down below. Patreon allows you to pay a small amount of money every month. Um, so, you know, that that really helps. That really helps. Got people who just send a little bit, but I, I give them special things, little little secret things I give them. I give them special videos and a little bit of gossip around the traps, you know, that sort of stuff. So, guys, that's how it goes. Thank you for your time. I love you all. Until next time, ciao, fuckers. Archie Luxury fans, if you're into luxury, then you got to be into 66 Buick Rivieras. Check out my son and I, Alex, as we restore this beautiful 66 Buick. Neighbors are having a picnic, you know, having fun and stuff. Me, I'm doing cars. It's what I've done my whole life. Hey guys, it's Paul Pluter. I'm the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III. Guys, I want to have a quick talk to you. Do you need to sell a wristwatch? Do you want to uh, sell a piece uh, for reinvestment? Do you have too many watches? Well, guys, I'm here to tell you that my good friends at Sydney 
and Brisbane Vintage Watch Co. are looking for quality wristwatches for their store. Now, Ronnie has instructed me to tell you guys that he is paying more than other dealers. That's correct. He pays top prices for quality pieces. So guys, if you've got a Rolex, a Rolex you want to sell, or a Patek, or anything, you want to sell a wristwatch, give the guys at Vintage Watch, Vintage Sydney, Vintage, well, it's Vintage Watch Co. Vintage Watch Co. Give them a call. That's right, guys. Um, <clears throat> they're paying good prices. They've always been very, very fair to me. And i, I got to tell you, they are nice people to do business with. I'm just trying to find their card here. Where the hell did I... Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Um, look, ask for Ronnie, Ronnie in Brisbane, or Philip in Sydney. Philip in Sydney. That's correct. They will look after you. Tell them Archie sent you. That's right. Tell them Archie sent you. They're paying top prices. That's correct. Brisbane and Sydney. Vintage Watch Co. Your premium place to sell watches. Tell me, guys. This is for you. Tell them Archie sent you and they will give you extra keen pricing.